What's up guys, Moonlight 150 here with your battle for today, and a long battle at that. Uh, so we're just gonna get this started already because the battle's already started without us. This is a Yui battle against a man named Decrypted Flunky. This is actually my first battle after a long line of, uh, other battle- of not battling for you because my ace card broke and then I fixed it somehow and now this is the first battle that I got after a long time. You know all those other battles that I've had in Season 2 so far? Of my Wi-Fi battles? This were all after this battle. This was the first battle. And I've been debating uploading this or not, and I decided, you know what, let's just do it. I need a, I need a new battle to upload today, and this one is just very interesting. It's just extremely long. In real time, it was 16 minutes. Anyway, so the first couple turns here are not as interesting. I'm kind of holding the field with my Rose Ray, but he brings in this Magneton, so I can't really touch this, except take the couple turns of him sleeping, setting up some Toxic Spikes, which actually do come into play a little bit later on. But anyway, I'm just going to go straight for the V-Create, which does take out the Magneton. I don't know if this was Eviolai, because I just don't think a single V-Crate could take out an Eviolite, maybe fully defensive Magneton. So either this thing is not Eviolite or it's not fully defensive, maybe he's more special defensive. Anyway, so in comes Excelgor, he's gonna bug buzz me, does not take me out even though I have the minus defense. I live with the 42 HP, and I'm just gonna go for the V-Crate, which once again will take out the Excelgor. So, bingo the Victini doing a little bit of work here, already taking out a couple interesting, I don't want to say threats, but you know, they are Pokemon on the opponent's team, and it's good to take care, take care of them. Anyway, so in comes back in the hit only he's gonna fake me out to get rid of him. But you know he did a lot of good work. I'm gonna bring in my Cobalion. Gonna go for the ex extra sensory, which now you should know this is not my Cobalion, this is my Zoroark. His name is Loki. I usually like to disguise my Zoroarks as fighting types, but I get I forgot that he's Cobalion's also part steel, so they wanna hit him with a fighting type move, so. Anyway, that was just a little bad matching up on my part. I should have disguised him as something else. Anyway, so, but I do live with the Focus Sash because I'm a Focus Sash Zoroark, and I'll just take him out with another extra sensory. So that's three Pokemon down already. It's gonna go into his Metacham and finish off my Zoroark with a Bullet Punch. But as you can see, the the Poison is actually coming into play here. He doesn't want to take an Air Slash, so he's gonna switch into his Dusclops, and this Dusclops, oh my gosh, this is the hardest wall I've ever had to fight. It's, it's so bad. I was ready to throw my DS out the screen, and you'll see eventually why. So, and this is why it's sped up by 2.2%, which is like 220, I believe. And I think that's what I came it down to, because now it brings it down to like 7.5 minutes, except for minus the 16 minutes that it originally was. But as you can see, he's a resting set. He's not a resto chesto, otherwise this battle would have been over a lot quicker. But no, this guy is a rest sleep talk set with... Will-O-Wisp and Body Slam, uh, not Body Slam, uh, Seismic Toss. So I'm gonna see that we're gonna see the Seismic Toss here, and this is all he does. I get him down to like the little bit of health, and then he wakes up because of his two turns of resting, and he goes right back to resting. And this goes on forever, especially with Pokemon like my Yanmega and my upcoming. Uh, he's going back here in a second. My Inertia, my Sharpedo, both are Life Orbers, so I'm hoping that I would get a crit. This is what I was really hoping for. As you see here, he's down with a little bit of health, and he's gonna rest right back up again. Freaking Dusclops! I hate walls so much, but. Anyway, so I'm just going to go on to go for waterfalls. I'm looking for crits. I'm looking for flinches. I'm looking for anything, but I do not get a single helping bit of hacks this entire game. It's stupid. I was just sitting here going, give me a crit. Give me something that can help me defeat this Dusclops. It's like, game, you do not appreciate stupid <laughs> strategies like this. Give me something good. So once again, I give him that little bit of health, and he just rests right back up, and... I, I was almost ready to cry at this point. I'm just saying, why won't you die, you stupid Dusclops? Um, so once again, I'm just going for Waterfall because I can't really hit him with anything else. I think I have Crunch. No, if I had Crunch, this probably would have been a lot easier. I don't think... I, I think I put Crunch off on my Sharpedo because of this battle um, after this. So anyway, he's going for the Sleep Cost again. He actually gets the Willows, but I dodge it, so thankfully I'm not... I was at risk of... Losing my attack, but you know, once again, my waterfall comes that little bit of health, and that's the turn he wakes up, and he's just gonna rest again. No to all Pokemon trainer trainees, don't do this. You loot. You are really frowned upon. I mean, it's it's legit, but it's so looked down upon. You just look as just something. No one wants to fight. No one wants to fight you if you do this. Anyway, so. I'm thinking, okay, well, he's defensive now. I should go into a special attacker like my Rosary. Go for the Leaf Storm. It doesn't do as much, or as least as not as much as I want to. And I'm thinking, okay, I can do this. I'll just take him out with another Leaf Storm. And I finally do, so... Oh, uh, but, nope. His special defense is worthy of staying up to a minus two Leaf Storm, because I believe uh, Leaf Storm drops a special attack by two. 
So yeah, that's just the most frustrating thing. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. So I'm going for Sludge Bomb, but as you know, I'm like minus four now, I believe, because I've used two Leaf Storms. So I'm thinking there's no way I can touch this thing, so I'm going to switch back out, go into my real Cobalion, and I think, okay, you know what, I'm going to Swords Dance a couple times, and then I'm going to just Iron Head flinch him to death. That's what, what my plan is now with this Cobalion. I'm thinking, okay, I lost the End Mega, I lost, um, I lost Sharpedo, I can't go, I can't use Rose Raid because one Leaf Storm will do a good amount of damage, but then a second won't, won't do anything, so... I believe I've gone for a Swords Dance already. I wasn't looking. I was looking at my fingers counting uh, my team. But I'm Iron Head flinching him to death. Uh, but now he goes for the will -O so now I'm thinking, well, crap, now i got to go up for another couple of Swords Dance just to get my attack back. So I'm going to go for another couple of Swords Dance because I actually predicted him to rest this turn, but I guess uh, he actually does do that. So I'm just trying I should have gone maybe for an attack, but I think that with my burn, I would not have had any kind of power behind me to take it out. So either way, I might as well just set up the Swords Dance. So now I set up another Swords Dance, I should be at plus 4, I should be at plus 6, but you know, burn takes away minus 2 is what I'm told. So I'm at plus 4 right now, I'm thinking, okay, plus 4, I can do this. Let's Iron Head flinch this thing to death, I need to kill this thing off. So I'm doing that, it's doing a decent amount of damage, but I, it's not enough to where two turns from now he's going to wake up and just rest again. But here he's actually going to go for Seismic Toss instead of the rest, because I believe he believes that he can take another Iron Head, which actually turns out to be his downfall, because I'm going to go for another Iron Head, and I think that's max damage right there, because that wasn't a crit, and that's the final end of Dusclops. That was around 14, like, 12, 13, 14 minutes, or something like around that, because the rest of these turns don't take as long. Anyway, so he goes for the Fake Out for Medicham. It's a weird set on this guy. It's like a priority uh, Medicham with Fake Out and Bullet Punch. Anyway, so the combination of Fake Out and Bullet Punch does take out my Cabalion, but he's definitely worth it. He took out that Dusclops. I don't mind. Dusclops is gone. Anyway, so I'm going to go into Pandora, finish off the Medicham with a Sludge Bomb. Uh, don't think don't think there's anything in there about uh, being boosted. Anyways, so he goes the Belly Drum Linoon, and I'm just going to go for the Leaf Storm, and since I don't have any Mice Attack, Leaf Storm's going to do a lot, and that will be the game. So... I don't want to say good game because I hate you for that wall decrepit flunky. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.